folks, welcome to the Bicycle Frontier. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make my trail bars. Uh, it's a very, rather variable recipe that uh, you can make adjustments to to suit your own taste. I hope you guys will enjoy this and if you do end up making this, uh, let me know what adjustments you ended up making to the recipe in the, in the comments down below. So without further ado, let's get on with making them. To make my trail bars, I start with a decent sized mixing bowl and a 9 inch cast iron skillet. And then for the ingredients, one cup of white flour, unbleached, half a cup of coconut flour, half a cup of almond flour, half a cup of chopped or crushed pecans a quarter cup of almond chips, a quarter cup of goji powder, or sweetener of some sort, alternative. Obviously, I had to substitute some sugar because I ran out. <laughs> tablespoon of cocoa powder, two tablespoons of peanut flour. Don't go too heavy on this, so that's all you'll taste. One teaspoon of baking powder, half a cup of dried fruit, that can be your fruit of choice. We're using a raisin, cranberry, and cherry mix in ours today. One tablespoon of coconut oil, or you can use butter or any other oil of your choice. And then start out with a half a cup of almond milk, or whatever milk or even water is fine. Uh, and then add a little bit more until it gets to that right consistency where it's not sticky but it's all clumping together. You'll want to put a generous amount of oil in the bottom of your pan. Press it into the pan and bake at 350. All right our bars are now in our 9 inch cast iron in the oven at 350 degrees and we're gonna leave them in there for 40 minutes. Anyway, one thing left now was the taste test. Come out pretty good. Uh, I wish I would have had a little more goji berry powder to go in and would have made it a little bit sweeter. Substitute a little bit of sugar, but I didn't want to put the full amount in of sugar. So anyway, really good. Uh, there's all kinds of ways you could vary this recipe. Uh, you could cook it a little bit longer if you want. Uh, spread it out a little thinner and you can turn it into like cookies or uh, or, or whatever but this is how I, I choose to do it and then we went ahead and put it in a tin so I could take some of that with me on my next uh, day trip and then uh, I got some left over you know, I've got actually quite a bit there my wife will take it for a snack while she's uh, at her job and uh, we'll eat it around the house and I'll probably maybe make it some more of it and make it some more uh, variations on it now. I uh, I actually accidentally made uh, a few mistakes in this one, uh, so it ended up being a little bit more than my uh, original recipe. So it was a little thicker, and maybe uh, I could have cooked it just a slight bit longer, but it came out really good in my opinion. Uh, the alternative there is I could have put it in a bigger pan, made it thinner. But yeah, normally it's. Uh, it's usually only about like a half inch thick. That's like three quarters. It's almost an inch. But, and I would be able to put two layers in that uh, tin that you see me put some in. Anyway, guys, I hope you like this recipe. I hope uh, you'll get some use out of it. If you do end up making it and making some variation to it, please go ahead and let me know down in the comments how it came out for you and what you did. So until next time, make sure you hit that uh, like button if you liked the video. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more and ring the bell if you want to be notified when new stuff comes out. Till next time, I will catch you later.